Good evening and a good idea because we will have some flash flooding this weekend. All right, we're starting here with some live weather cameras downtown South Tulsa, Independent and McAllister. Also going on in Bixby tonight, of course, the crowds are lining up for the Corey Kent White concert at Bixby Stadium. The weather cooperating there and a very nice evening setting up with temperatures going to stay in at least the low 60s here through the concert. And you can see from our masked camera how the crowds are now starting to gather on the field. So it's a sunny night. We said that two days ago that the concert would be great. No need to be indoors, but they need long sleeves. And if you're headed out there, take the long sleeves along. The temperatures certainly will be on the cool side. All right, next 24 hours go something like this. Clear and cool at 10 p.m. Cool morning tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the lower 50s. Uh, take the rain gear, though, at 9 a.m. if you're headed to school. Light rain in the forecast at noon and then coming to an end around 5 p.m., 64 degrees. That means tomorrow night in Bartlesville, I think the graduation ceremonies are dry. 63, though the air will feel a little damp with the southeast wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Sun is setting as the clouds break up here this evening, so we'll go clear for a couple of hours, and then the clouds will gather after midnight again. North wind temperature right now 66 degrees, the dew point at 49. You can see the clouds just kind of breaking up across the region, but we look out here to the west. We've got this part of the storm system that will spin up over Oklahoma tomorrow. The main low comes out Saturday night into Sunday. Best chance of rain will be Saturday night into Sunday. The rains in recent weeks have done a number on the drought monitor. Look at this severe only in north central Oklahoma. Some of the areas that were in exceptional drought are just in moderate drought. And once we get this rain coming back in here between now and Monday, we might wipe out some more of the drought across the state. Maybe about two and a half inches at Okima, two and a half inches also at Tahlequah. Watch out for the flash flood watch. Some isolated areas could have as much as six inches of rainfall by Monday morning. So there will be some heavier downpours, especially again Saturday night into Sunday morning. And that's where we have the marginal risk of severe weather. There is a slight risk over southern Oklahoma, southwestern Oklahoma. So we are right on the edge of that. We'll have to watch some thunderstorms in western Oklahoma that would migrate our way and maybe bring a little hail threat perhaps a tornado threat to southern Oklahoma early Sunday morning. Forecast for this evening, 61 degrees, a cool evening. You'll need long sleeves with that mix of sun and clouds. Overnight tonight, 50 degrees. We'll go back to clouds and have a fall-like feel by morning. 46 in Bartlesville tomorrow morning, 49 in Pryor Grove down to 50 tomorrow morning, and 56 at Muskogee. During the morning hours, the clouds gather, and as we head toward the noon hour, some light rain to the west with a temperature around 59 degrees, and then off and on scattered rain showers tomorrow afternoon, a high around 65. Again, it comes to an end in the evening, and that's why I think Bartlesville will be dry for the graduation ceremony. 65 Bartlesville tomorrow afternoon, 69 in Grove as the rain is later to arrive there, 68 at McAllister and 65 at Muskogee. Seven day forecast Saturday morning, 60 degrees, 78 Saturday afternoon, 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms a little bit in the morning, more so at night into Sunday. Sunday looks like the rain could be with us all day long. Wow, 73, a rainy day ends early Memorial Day, Memorial Day afternoon up to 84, humid, warm and breezy. Tuesday, more scattered showers and thunderstorms and the pattern showing signs of changing next Wednesday, Thursday. We'll talk more about that tonight at 10.